Tracy Wilson and Rob McCall made history for Canada and North America in 1988. The athletic and entertaining twosome became the first team on this side of the Atlantic to win an Olympic medal. Canadians broke new ground again in 2003. The innovative team of Shaylin Bourne and Victor Kratz became world champions, another North American first. We had a good base from the beginning and we had our test structure, has good hard dance tests that make people train really well and we had good coaching. If you look at all of our Canadian dancers, they're all wonderful skaters. It's not just about the dancing, they have pure technique, they have beautiful glide to their blade and that comes from years and years of strong basic tra training and I think it's something that Canadians have always emphasized. In 2006, a talented and charming duo from Ilderton, Ontario, won the World Junior Crown. Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer became the first Canadians to accomplish that feat. Then four years later, they ventured into uncharted territory again, winning the Olympic title as the youngest ice dance gold medalist ever. Many believe the world champions could go on to become one of the best teams ever. I just think, I just think, I beautiful. I, I do think that um, the quality, their abilities, uh, their presence, everything about them, um, you know, they, they, they seem to have captured a spirit. And I think, indeed, they have that connection and people identify with that. Well, Virtue and Moyer are the undisputed stars of Canadian Ice Dance. These two have the boldest of edges. Their success and that of their predecessors has inspired others at home, including Vanessa Crone and Paul Poirier, seventh place finishers at this year's Worlds. Four Continents champions, Caitlin Weaver and Andrew Poget. And exceptional newcomers like world junior medalist Alexandra Paul and Mitchell Islam. Our younger teams are getting better and better, younger and younger. I mean, I think Vanessa and Paul are an example, you know, of that particularly. They've, they've risen to the top very, very quickly and they're still very young. And we've got younger ones still who are going to come up and do the same thing. And here are the reigning world and Olympic champions. i got to ask you, do you ever get tired of hearing those two words together, world Olympic champions? Absolutely not. <laughs> well, tell me, you know, deservedly most of the attention has been on the two of you when it comes to ice dance, but this country truly has an embarrassment of riches uh, in the discipline. Yeah, I mean, ice dance is really uh, a great field, and... The Canadians have done a great job, just as we just said, with um, the training of uh, young ice dancers, and I think we're going to be a force uh, in the future. Well, certainly, uh, you've been very busy since the World Championships. You've been touring, uh, writing a book. What was that like to collaborate with Steve Milton on the book? Well, Steve was the perfect person for us to collaborate with. Um, he created such an intimate and relaxed setting. We were able to open up um, without kind of having any walls to, to guard us, and I think really interesting process for us was starting at the beginning and going all the way through our career and not once have we ever sat down and really done that Good together so it's interesting the things you remember and the, the different perspectives Steve that we Canada learned along the way um, that each of us had it was a really um, almost emotional process well, so many skating fans would love to see you competing here but uh, Tessie you had surgery on your leg uh, tell me where that is at right now and when you can expect to see that from us well, I'm not sure exactly when I'll be back in the ice. I'm not putting a deadline on it, but I'm already feeling really, really good. And I'm, I'm told the surgery went well, so I'm optimistic and feeling positive. Can you stick around just for a little while longer? Yes. Okay, so when we return, we're going to have uh, more with Scott and Tessa. And we will also have, from here in Kingston, the ice dance competition. We'll be back right after this.